so just to give you all some insight on what this place really is, you know, this is actually my secondary residence. Um, as an athlete, you know, we have to spend six months in one city when we're doing our job, when we're playing for the team, and then for the off season. Sure, some people stay in the same city, but some people go back to their hometown. I personally go back to Florida. And uh, this right here, this is my crib in Canada, in Calgary to be exact. Uh, you know, for a while, it kind of took me a while to find a spot because the market was just flooded. You know, trying to find a place that was fully furnished, that came with everything, was tough. So uh, really what I did, uh, I just found an unfurnished spot. I rented my furniture and then I was able to find this spot. So this place right here, it goes for 1700 Canadian dollars, which is about 1300 US. And uh, so yeah, so shoot, with that being said, I'm gonna just show y'all what y'all can get for $1,700 in uh, Canadian. So first thing we got, when you first come in, we actually have the bathroom right here. The only thing that I don't really like about the bathroom being right here is that it's not, it's not attached to the master bathroom, I mean to the master bedroom. But other than that, it's a nice setup. Uh, it's not like it's a far walk or anything like that. And then when we come in right here to our right, we got our washer and dryer, nice little setup. You know, one of the first things they told me when I got my orientation was that the dryer was not going to dry your clothes in the first uh, load. They pretty much said that uh, wash light, I mean wash and dry light and then uh, make sure that you're going to dry it like a few times. So do your, do your dryer dry on the first time? Mm, depends on the depends. load size. I'll be having to rewash my, I mean, redry my load all the time. All right, so coming over to the kitchen right here to our left, you know, what stood out to me was really this modern, sleek look. You know, uh, when I first got here, uh, I really, it really didn't come with much. I had to buy the air fryer, I had to buy the blender, the curate. Really, and that's all I need. You know, everything that can make it seem like I'm back at home, I'm all about convenience. You know, the air fryer that's clutch. If you don't have an air fryer, you sleep. Come on, I'm telling you, it does wonders. Uh, now, as far as everything else, I kind of had to go old school, man. My, don't, don't judge me. I don't think I got a blueberry. But I had to go old school with the ice trays, man. Usually, you know, with the freezers, we have a little thing. We so spoiled back home. But uh, otherwise, man, I got everything I need. I'm straight. Refrigerator-wise, I'm on E right now, you know. But hey, as far as cabinets go, I got the seasoning, got my little, you know, setup, peanut butter, everything, really simple. Over here, is, over here, I got my supplements, got my supplements, got my tea, got my little um, meal prep trays, you know, simple stuff. All right, now when we're coming over this way, we got the bedroom. It's actually a one bedroom, one bath. So uh, coming in. This, this place, it actually doesn't have a light in the bed, light uh, in the bedroom, so it's a natural habit for me to come in and turn the light on and off, but, you know, it is what it is. Uh, I actually don't have a TV in my room, nothing like that, and uh, the best part about it is they actually had natural light. Uh, as you can see, we got the big window. Then as far as the closet goes, hey, big drip, wherever I go. <laughs> hey, I know, I know I really ain't got much in here, but like I said, man, hey, I packed for what I need. I wanted to pack light. I didn't want to bring my whole closet from back home. Yeah, I got my little four or five pair of shoes. I got my sweatsuits, my jump shoes, my sweatpants, and then anything else that I need, hey, I just run to the mall and go get it. You know, last time I came up here, I overpacked. I brought almost everything I had because I ain't gonna lie, coming to Canada, I had no clue what type of city this was gonna be. I thought it was nothing but mountains and snow and farmlands, all that stuff. When I got here, they actually had malls. They actually had, you know what I'm saying, stores so I can go shop at. So my second go around coming up here, I knew how to pack, I know what to do. And then um, that's pretty much it. You know, over here, I got my little boxes because at the end of the day, you know, um, when I get ready to move out here, um, I can't take it back to Florida with me. So I might as well bless somebody, give it away, you know, sell it, whatever the case may be. But uh, that's pretty much it for the bedroom. There really ain't much going on in here. Like I said, I don't have a TV. I only come in here to really sleep, so hey, that's really it. All right, so for the last thing, to wrap things up, uh, we got the living room. This really where I, this really where I spend most of my time at, you know. I mean, just sitting right here on the island or on the couch. But uh, over here, shoot, as you can see, you know, rent a TV, didn't buy it, gotta rent it. Uh, and then over here, we got the decorations, man. Hey, tell me I'm an athlete without saying that I'm an athlete. 
over here, we just got the normal text. You know, we got, you know, everything like really light, really simple, man. Um, and as far as furniture go, shoot, I got my couch. And over here, I got my tripod set up. I got my little, got my little mat for when I'm stretching and doing my yoga. Uh, as you can see, uh, got my suitcase right here as well. Cause I'm ready to get up out of here. Nah, really, cause I ain't got no space for it, so I just put it right there. And that's where all my extra clothes at. That's why my closet was so empty, cause the stuff that I don't wear, I just keep it right there. And then, shoot, the last thing, the best, one of the best things I like about this is uh, the natural lighting, because the lights are in here are only in the kitchen. So shoot, even when I don't want to have lights on, it's got perfect, perfect natural lighting. Couldn't ask for a better view, you know. Uh, Really blessed, man. Really couldn't even ask for a better place to be in. Uh, then to wrap things up, check out this balcony. Check out the views. What a time to be alive, man. <laughs> so really, the only thing about this outside, you probably can't even really hear me, I don't know. But right now they got construction going on right here because they're this apartment complex is building a part two version of this complex. It's going to be bigger. This, this complex has 32 floors. The one next to it is going to be bigger. It's going to be better. Uh, it'll be up and running in about four years. But the only downside, and I wouldn't even consider this a downside, is that they do construction and you can hear it all day. But when I'm inside, I, I don't even really hear it. So at the end of the day, I really can't complain about the spot that I'm staying in. So yeah, that pretty much wraps it up for, for this place right here. Um, really, man, I'm gonna be real, I really don't have guests coming over, so it ain't no point. And I'm only gonna be here for a few months, so it really ain't no point in me going all in, decorating the spot, doing all that stuff. You know, hey, come here, I can't hit the work. I can't hit the, you know what I'm saying? Just for a short time, not a long time. What they say, I'm here for a good time, not a long time. Hey, that's really it, but I uh, hope y'all enjoyed my spot. Hope y'all was able to see what Calgary in Canada has to offer. I actually like the city. It's not what I expected. Nice city. But yeah, that's pretty Hey, that's pretty much it, man. Let me go ahead and take y'all to the eighth floor, man. Show y'all what else this place has to offer. Yeah, why is the third one not going? Going for a little bit. What are they doing? There's too many people in this building for that shit. My rent said three elevators. <laughs> It ain't never say this wrong. I leave my shit in there. I'm gonna some trash shit. That's where you take out the trash. That shit gonna come as soon as we go over there. Alright, come on, let's do it. While we're up here, we might as well show y'all where we gotta go to take the trash out. Uh, I have to But. Made no sense. They are tripping. How y'all doing? Oh, I ain't even care about you in this. <laughs> Andy, a music video. How y'all doing? <laughs> hey, they in the light. They in the light. They in the light. Come on.
Come on, chill out. Chill out. Chill out. Oh, all right, oh, all right, show us. This. Hey, go ahead, man. No, get. Don't get camera shy. Don't get camera shy. Ooh, stop playing. Stop playing. The little yami. Yeah, I mean. It's like a shuffleboard. Hot as hell, ain't it? It's hot, ain't it? Yes. It's probably about, what they say up here? About 30. It's about 29 degrees out here. Celsius. Celsius. <laughs> Let them know. I don't even know, bro. It's probably about 80. Good day. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Hold on, man. I need to call the guys. They about to pull up. They need to come outside. Hold on. So, yeah, we're just going to wrap it up out here. We're about to enjoy this day. It's a beautiful day in the summer. Uh, make sure you guys, if you guys like this video, man, give it a thumbs up. Make sure you guys subscribe. Stay tuned to everything else that we got going on. Should be in the game. We're about to hang out. Man. Hope y'all enjoy it. Hey, what I'm dropping on camera, boy. I ain't gonna drop it, bro. Trust me.